Hi everyone, it's Mr. Rose on here again. Today I want to show you how to use a website called Slides Carnival in order to make some really good templates or to use some good templates uh, for your presentations. So the website you want to go to is Slides Carnival. Just Google it, it'll come up. And the website you look for is slidescarnival.com. And this is what it looks like right now. Uh, I'm filming this in June of 2020. So when you see this video, it might be slightly different, but as of right now, this is what it looks like. And uh, this site is really, really, really cool. Um, it's got a ton of really good templates. And what I really like about it is that it's easy to use with Google Drive. So if you're in Google Slides, for example, I'm just gonna go to Google Slides. And if I create just a blank one here, And you start looking at the themes. The, the problem is that these themes, are, I'll be honest, a lot of them are pretty boring. They're pretty simple, but I mean, there's not a lot going on here. They're not that interesting in my opinion. Um, so, I mean, if you're gonna make a quick and easy one, go ahead, you can just pick a theme, no problem. And you know, you got your theme. But if you want something a lot more interesting and better looking, uh, try this out. So, okay, so let's go back to Slides Carnival. And it's all set up by uh, categories up here. And they also have different things on their home page. But let's go ahead and find one here. So let's, uh, I really like that one. That's pretty cool. So let's say we're going to go with this one. And you can go to the preview if you want to see what it looks like. And essentially, this is the style of it. So I think that's really cool. So you can go ahead and download it as PowerPoint or you can use it as Google Slides. For Google Slides, you just click it comes up here and you click use template and it should show up inside your Google Drive Now you may have to move it to wherever you want because it's going to be in your the root folder of your Google Drive but right now it's here so I can go ahead and do some editing so I can change the title of it so I can write like Mr. Rosan's presentation Okay, so you can go ahead and edit all of these slides. Now, the way Slides Carnival works is they're going to give you sometimes up to 30, 40 slides. Okay, the goal is you don't necessarily want to use every single one of these. What I usually do is I'll go ahead and pick a couple that I really like. Like this one is not bad. This one's not bad. But maybe, you know what, I'm not going to use this slide. So I'm going to right click. And I'm going to delete that slide. If I'm not going to use it, I'm, not, I'm just going to delete it, right? Same with this one. Maybe I'm not going to have three columns. I'll delete it. But your standard slide, which would probably be like this one right here. This is a pretty much standard looking slide. That's one I might use a lot. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to duplicate this one. I really like that one, so I'm going to duplicate it a couple times. And then I can use the same style with the, with the bullets here. So basically, Slides Carnival, what it'll do is it's going to give you one of each type of slide. And you just want to duplicate the ones that you want and delete the ones you're not going to use. So again, you're not going to use this one. Right click and delete it. So that's the way that I use it. And then at the end of the day, like I said, you're going to have a really nice uh, presentation. I, I myself, I'm not very artistic. I'm not good at making stuff like this. So I'm going to use a site like Slides Carnival to my advantage and uh, make it for me. Um, and again, that's just one of them. If you start looking through here, there's an unbelievable amount of presentations and they're all very, very professional looking. They look amazing. You know, try it out. Um, you know, appearance wise, it'll really, really make your presentations uh, sparkle and they're going to look really nice. And uh, yeah, I hope you find this uh, useful, pretty easy to use. And uh, I hope it's a tool that you can use in the future.